Hi everyone, it's Schematic Mate and today we are going to talk about the female bony pelvis measurements. The size and shape of the pelvis is important for labor and delivery. This acrum is a tapered, wedge shaped bone at the back of the pelvis consisting of five fused vertebrae. At the bottom of the sacrum is a tail-like bony projection called the coccyx. The upper border of the first vertebra in the sacrum sticks out and points toward the front of the body. This protuberance is the sacral promontory, an important landmark for labor and delivery. The pubic symphysis is a secondary cartilaginous joint located between the left and right pubic bones near the midline of the body. There are differentiated four planes in the small pelvic cavity. The area of brain, the pelvic plane of greatest dimensions, the third parallel pelvic plane, and the area of pelvic outlet. The planes of small pelvis and their dimensions are The area of brain is limited from behind with the superior margin of the promontory of sacral bone. On the sides, with the terminal lines of hip bones or the innominate lines from the front with the upper margin of pubic bone and symphysis. The straight dimension, the distance from the promontory of sacral bone to the most protrudent point of the superior internal margin of symphysis. It is called the true or obstetric conjugate, conjugata vera, makes 11 cm. There is also distinguished the anatomic conjugate, coniugata anatomica, the distance from the promontory of sacral bone to the upper margin of symphysis. It is by 0.3 to 0.5 cm larger than the obstetric one. The transversal dimension, the distance between the utmost point of the arcuate lines of ilia, linea innominata, equals 13 cm. The oblique dimension, left and right. Right dimension is the distance from the right sacroiliac joint, articulatio sacroiliaca, to the left iliopubic eminence, eminentia iliopubica, and vice versa. It makes 12 to 12.5 cm. Next is the pelvic plane of greatest dimension, which is limited from behind by the junction of the second and third sacral vertebrae from the sides by the middle of the femoral fossae, from the front by the middle of the internal surface of symphysis. In this plane, two dimensions are differentiated, straight and transversal. The straight dimension, from the projection of the junction of the second and third sacral vertebrae to the middle of the internal surface of symphysis, it makes 12.5 cm. The transversal dimension, between the middles of femoral fossae, it makes 12.5 cm. The oblique dimensions is considered conditionally 30 cm. The third parallel pelvic plane is limited from the front by the inferior margin of symphysis, from behind by the sacrococcygeal joint, from the sides by the axis of ischial bones. There are differentiated two dimensions of the third parallel pelvic plane, straight and transversal. The straight dimension from the sacrococcygeal joint to the middle of the inferior margin of pubic symphysis equals 11 cm. The transversal dimension between the internal surfaces of ischial bones axis, it equals 10.5 cm. The area of pelvic outlet is limited from the front by the inferior margin of symphysis, from behind by the coccyx, from the sides by the internal surfaces of ischial tuberosities. The dimension of the area of pelvic outlet are straight and transversal. The straight dimension, the distance from the middle of the inferior margin of symphysis to the apex of coccyx. It makes 9.5 cm. During delivery, when the fetal head is being born, the pelvic bone reclines by 1 to 2 cm and the straight dimension increases to 11 cm. The transversal dimension, the distance between the internal surfaces of ischial tuberosities, it makes 11 cm. The diagonal conjugate is the distance from the inferior margin of the symphysis to the most protuberant point of the sacral bone promontory 
The diagonal conjugate is measured by means of vaginal examination. The diagonal conjugate makes 13 on average. Let's one more time repeat pelvic dimensions in different levels. The area of brim. The straight dimension equals 11 cm. The transversal dimension equals 13 cm. The oblique dimensions equals 12 to 12.5 cm. The pelvic plane of greatest dimensions. The straight dimension equals 12.5 cm. The transversal dimension equals 12.5 cm. The oblique dimension is considered conditionally 13 cm. The third parallel pelvic plane, the straight dimension equals 11 cm. The transversal dimension equals 10.5 cm. The area of pelvic outlet, the straight dimension equals 9.5 cm. The transversal dimension equals 11 cm. And the diagonal conjugate equals 13 cm.